Hello. Hope you are doing well. Jai Sri Krishna to everyone. And welcome to the podcast of Hindu Media Wiki. So today our question is why doesn't Bhagwan Krishna give moksha to everyone? So uh, if Krishna wants he can give moksha to everyone because Bhagavad Gita 18.66 says Sarva dharmam para tyajya mama ekam saranam vraja aham tvam sarva papabhyo moksha vishyam masucha meaning uh, abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender into me i shall deliver you from all sinful reactions do not fear so by his grace he can free anyone from sins why his grace will only fall if someone surrenders to him why doesn't he give moksha to everyone because everyone's ultimate goal is moksha so just give them moksha so it is possible that every single creature could get moksha just by grace of bhagwan krishna okay so um, before looking into uh, answer let's first uh, look at few questions so uh just imagine why did government create prison house the second question is government has power to release all the prisoners why doesn't the head of government release all of them so uh, many vaishnav acharyas compare this material world to a prison house now question is why was this material world created actually this material world is eternal it was never created as said in bhagavad gita 13.20 which says a material nature and the living entity should be understood to be beginningless okay so uh, for those uh, who are envious of god are sent to this world uh, we can see that everybody here wants to lord uh, it over material nature as uh, someone wants to be master of his family someone wants to be master of his country someone wants to be master of his job etc but in reality krishna is the master of entire cosmic creation now so why doesn't krishna grant liberation to all uh, let's look at the things like this the living entities in this world uh, may be broadly classified in two categories first those who are engaged in sense of gratification and second those who are engaged in service of god and krishna says as all surrender unto me i reward them accordingly anyone follow my path in all respect o son of parth so if someone wants to serve external illusory energy of god Krishna grants his desires and sends such person to this world or keeps the person in this world basically god doesn't interfere with the out free will because there is no point in showing a gun to a girl and asking her to say i love you in this circumstance anyone will say say you as a as a dictator and god, god does not impose himself on us we come here by our wish so he want us to written on our own wish so point here is he sent us to this world because we wanted to come here and how do we know that krishna respects our will so uh, in the end of the gita krishna says thus i have explained to you knowledge still more confidential deliberate on this fully and then do what you wish to do so here he is not forcing arjun to carry out his i mean krishna's will instead ask arjun to do as he wishes to do in addition to that uh, i would like to mention a small story so story goes like this uh, once uh, narada was visiting different place of pilgrimage on earth where he saw many people engaged in worshiping bhagwan vishnu he was bewildered as to how come uh, vaikuntha is so vacant these people are so pious that they must be in vaikuntha so when he reached vaikuntha he asked uh, bhagwan narayan about it and bhagwan said you can bring all of them here if they wish to and uh, narada became happy and he came back on earth 
so he asked people if they desired to come to waikut and half of them did not know what waikut is and other half was just not interested since they were deeply attached to their family to their uh, material desire to their kinsmen etc then narad realized what is the condition of living entities of this world i hope this will give you a clear answer of why bhagwan krishna does not give moksha to everyone else stay tuned and thank you